what's up everybody DJ Numismatic back again to uh, do another coin roll hunt variety search slash album fill I was at the bank a couple of banks on Christmas Eve and I was able to pick up $150 in quarters four rolls of those are uncirculated I also picked up uh, 20 rolls of nickels and 10 rolls of pennies so I think what I'll do is I'll start with the quarters, work my way to the pennies, and then we'll end with the nickels just in case they fill or upgrade any of the nickels in the album. Let me get this stuff out of the way and uh, we'll get on with the search. So we're on roll number seven on the quarters. Those first four uncirculated rolls were nothing but Denver minted. Let's see if I can get that a little better there. Tall grass, prairie, Kansas quarters. None of them are West Pines. But on roll seven here, this is my second one I found in my last two hunts. That right there is a San Francisco minted. As you can tell, the the cameo is pretty pretty shot from circulation. The back's a little better. Massachusetts 2000 State Quarter. Pretty cool. It's my second uh, San Francisco minted proof quarter that I found in my last two hunts. Well, let me get back to this hunt and uh, I'll bring you in on my next find. I'm on roll eight of the quarters and I just came across a 2008 Philadelphia minted Alaska quarter. And if you haven't seen it before, I'll throw it under the scope and show you. This one isn't as extreme as some of the ones I've found. And in this condition, it's not worth a whole lot. So this is what they call the extra bear claw. As you can see, whoop, right here, between claw number four and five, there's a die chip that starts. This one's pretty, pretty small, so... And the coin is actually in pretty rough shape. I'm not going to keep this one in better shape. You can get these, uh, you can sell these on eBay from anywhere from two to, to five bucks. So, and then there's another thing you look for too over here, right here, along here is a there's a double uh, DDR on these. This one is so so rough. I if it was the DDR, I'm not going to be able to tell anyway. So, pretty cool find though. Back to circulation. So I'm on roll 12 and I just came across a 2018 Guam Philadelphia minted War in the Pacific. And I'll throw it under the scope for you. One of the things you can look for on these, I found a couple like this, so give me a second, let me get out my uh, scope and uh, jump over onto my laptop. On the Philadelphia Minted Guams, you can see down here at the bottom of the lake, there's a die chip. I found these that are quite big, but they also sometimes become uh, a die break. And you can see right here, it goes all the way up. Oop, lost it. It goes up here. And curls back you can barely see it here but it turns into a pretty impressive die break <laughs> I probably won't keep this one I've got quite a few like this so well let me get back to the hunt I just came across another 2019 Guam this is the first one I found as you can see with the smaller soldier in the background if you look by his rifle there and all over the place there's a small die break on its face there but if you check out the second one there's a huge die break on his weapon there this one also has the die break down on the leg I'll show you real quick it's not as big down here but it goes up through his leg up through here and out his back this one also has 
a nice little die chip right here on his his weapon as well and then if you look behind his head there's another die break that runs there all the way up to right into here this die was probably almost to the end of its life it's too bad the whole thing didn't flake off that had been a heck of a nice die cut well I finished up the quarters and I got three of the bicentennials to add to my collection two of them were Denver's none of them were DDO's though I got three Northern Marina Islands 2009's four sorry and then uh, a 2009 Guam those two 2019's with those die chips and impressive uh, die breaks the 2008 extra bear claw and the best thing out of the box I would have to say would be this or box or 15 rolls was the 2000 uh, S proof well let me get these out of the way and we'll go down to 10 rolls of copper see you soon we're on roll one of the copper and we already gotta find it's foreign and that would be a 1978 Canadian penny in pretty rough shape well we're on roll four and the pennies will not go gluten-free or I should say cents sorry and that is a 1945 Philadelphia roll five and we'll have wheat scent number two and that's a 1946 from Denver Roll number nine of the pennies, and we're gonna have our second Canadian, and that is a 1995. Well, we finished all ten rolls, and I didn't figure we'd find anything major, but you never know. I did end up coming up with a 69S non DDO 74S that 46D 45P and two Canadians. Well, I'm done with the pennies. Let's see if we can find any upgrades or fillers for the album. Let's crack through 20 rolls of circulated nickels. Roll one and We've already got to find. It's definitely not going to be an upgrade. Cause my 59s are pretty good, and that's a 59 out of Denver. Same roll, and we've got a 1947 out of Philly. We're on roll number four, and we got another 40s, and that is a another 1947 out of Philly. Same roll, and just came across a 1958 out of Philly. roll six and I just cracked it open and we had an ender and I didn't even realize it and whoops uh, that's a 1941 out of Philly same roll and we've got a oh, if I get my hands on it here 1949 out of Philly 
roll number 12 and we've got a 1951 out of Denver same roll and we've got another dirty 1951 oh I might have to clean that one up a little bit there might be a mint mark there I think it's a Philly though hang on yep it's a Philly and if you're wondering what I clean I do clean some of my coins just the gunk and stuff and I use a product called MS70 it's a cleaner brightener you can buy it on uh, eBay roll 15 and we've got a 1940 out of Philly I think we need the D let me get back to this roll well, I finished up those last few rolls and didn't find nothing. Um, so in 20 rolls, I did come up with five from the 40s, four from the 50s, and then these stacks, I'm gonna check against the album and see if we get any upgrades. I'll bring you back at the end to do a wrap up. So in the first album, we're gonna be able to upgrade the 73P, the 75D, the 80P, and let's see here, up here we're going to be able to upgrade the 85D, oh wait a minute, that'd be the 86P and D, um, the 90P, and the 90D, the 94P, and not by much, but the 95D. Let me pop these in the album and we'll check the next one. Well, on the, in the last book, the only thing that upgrades, and it's only slightly, is the 51P. And as you can see, the hair detail is just slightly better. I guess the face is a little bit stronger strike too. So, upgrades, no fills. We still gotta fill the 38S, 38D, or 39D, 39S, the 42P silver, the 44D silver, the 44S silver and the 45D silver and of course that elusive 50D well I hopefully uh, you enjoyed this uh, coin hunt and uh, album fill and like always I'll post a link up above in case you're interested in some uh, collectible coins I do uh, put a lot of my finds on eBay and until next time Stay safe out there. Hope you all had a Merry Christmas. And hopefully your new year is even better. Happy hunting, everybody.